And we're back. Pastor Michael T. Walker of Mount Gilead Baptist Church. This, this is what I want you to do. Any son that you, that you are in Atlanta and you have no place to go or nowhere to go, we invite you to 1537 Donnelly Hollowell Park, where Atlanta, Georgia, Mount Gilead Baptist Church. We're on the corner of Banghead and Francis. Well, let me change that. They changed the name some years ago. Donnelly Hollowell Parkway, formerly known as Bankhead. We're located right in front of Carter G. Wilson Elementary School. Now, I know a lot of y'all know about Carter G. Wilson Elementary because a lot of y'all Atlanteans went to Carter G. Wilson. But right now, we have another one of the band members. We have Mr. Kerry Mahone. Kerry, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. It shows us that you are the bass player for the group. That's correct. All right. How long have you been playing bass guitar? Ooh, I've been playing off and on since I was about nine years old. Okay. Now, I sit here and I listen to the band, and, and I hear the band. We hear your instrument, but, but we really don't see you. So would it be safe to say that you are one of the type band members who don't mind being in the background? I like, I like the back singing. Hey, man, because there are a whole lot of bands and a whole lot of members that if they can't have the lead mic and they can't sing all the songs and they don't want to be a part. So so you're telling us that that's not you. Somebody's got to do it. OK, so what if they wanted you to lead a song? I would try. You would try. I would try. OK, we, I, I, from my understanding, you have a, a twin brother. Yes, I do. OK, now, do, do you and your twin ever swap roles? He play bass and you sing? Uh, That's impossible. That's <laughs> Now, now wh why would that be impossible? Would it be impossible because you can't sing or he can't play the bass? I don't sing well, and he definitely can't play bass. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, Mr. Carey, are, are you married? Yes, I am. All right, what's your wife's name? Beautiful lady, Easter. Beautiful lady, wait, E-A-S-T-E-R? E-A-S-T-E-R, just like the Easter Sunday. Wow, I've never heard of a lady by the name of Easter. Okay, do you have any children? Two children, boy and girl. Okay, how old are your children? Oh, 27 and 24. Okay, you took a break there. Like, it's been so long ago. How old are they? 27, 27. So, what are your children's names? Uh, my daughter, the oldest, uh, her name is Laquanda Chantel Mahone. She's uh, teaching school at the moment. Okay, which school does she teach? Uh, Macon County Elementary School. Okay. My son, he's working at the uh, Correction Institute here in Macon. Okay. Now, when you're not playing with the group or singing with the group what do you do spending time with my family okay are you retired you work no i have about three years left to work i work i'm a classroom teacher and it's pretty hectic but uh this is how i vent okay a classroom teacher which grade do you teach nine through twelve nine through twelve what which uh, uh study do you teach i'm an automotive service technology instructor Okay, so you could teach them how to change oil, put in spark plugs, change tires? Minute. Okay, now, do you have any uh, females in your class? Yes, I believe in uh, traditional and non-traditional, and females would definitely be non-traditional. Okay, all right. If someone asks you what is the one thing you would want people to know about you, what would you say that it is? I don't give up. You don't give up. I don't give up. I heard a saying a long time ago that quitters never win and winners never quit. Yeah. Sometime in life, you got to have what I call a pit bull mentality. You got to get something, just hold on to it and don't let go. So that's what Mr. Mahone is saying, how he is, right? I don't let go. Okay. Now, is this the only group that you've ever played with? Ooh, no. Don't ask me to name them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, are, are, are you in church? I mean, which church you go to? Where's your church located? First Memorial CME over in Ideal, Georgia. First Memorial AME over in Ideal, Georgia. Ideal. Ideal, Georgia. Very small. You know what? I got to get out a whole lot more. I've never heard of Ideal, Georgia. Ideal, Georgia, I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I don't know where you locate on the map. Mr. Mahone is going to tell me where you are. I'm coming to see you, Ideal, Georgia. Okay, now, how far is Ideal from Atlanta? About two hours, 15, 20 minutes maybe. Okay, you just told us that you are a school teacher. Today is Friday. Would it be safe to say that you're playing hooky from school today? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm playing hooky from school today, but I'm about to retire, so I feel good about what I'm doing well enough to take that chance. Okay, now, the, the reason I ask him that because in life you got to be passionate about something. 
that you wouldn't hang your, your hat on it. So, so he's not skipping school there. I was just messing with you all on that. But he loved the Lord. And he loved playing gospel music so much that he was willing to take a day off his job, something that he was going to get paid for to come and share with you all out there in our TV land a, a word from God. So you call it enjoy the music from God. And, and, and that's how it ought to be with, with Christians. Too many times we, we Christians, we're not sold out on anything. Any wind come by, we, we will transform with it. We'll go with it. But in life, you got to have something that you wouldn't stand on. So, so Mr. Mahone, I, I would like to thank you, and, and I'm going to ask my cameraman as you all go back into another music session that y'all would at least get a picture of uh, Mr. Kerry Mahone. But you got to look out now because he got a twin brother here today. His twin brother's here today. That's right. Both brothers are in a group, and, and earlier you talking with them, they told me that they were tw twins, and, and I kind of like that because now, day and age, in the year 2009, it's bad when brothers can't get along. Somebody ought to say man out there. It's bad when brothers can't get along. But, but this evening, you all going to see two brothers. This is Carrie here. We're going to bring Kenny up next. Two brothers who are doing the same work for the Lord, and that's spreading the word of God through their music. So, uh, Carrie, we'd like to thank you for this interview. And we're going to ask the cameraman once again to get you playing that bass guitar because I've been watching you. It, it, it seemed like you and that guitar one when you're playing. We are. I need y'all to look at him now. He... He hold his head to the side, and it's like he forgot about all the other band members. He's just in his own world. So, Carrie, thank you for this interview, and, and we look to hear you as you all come to us with another selection. Thank you very Amen. Much. Now what I need you all to do is get ready. We're going to take you all into a small clip of a sermon that was done recently at Mount Gilead Baptist Church done by myself. It is our prayer that you are enjoying the messages that you are hearing right now as well as the spiritual saints. So we'll take you to a clip done at Mount Gilead. Baptist Church, 1537, Donnelly Hollowell Parkway. Take it away. Yeah. Adam and Eve are born and abandoned their mission. And, and I wish I could stop there and tell y'all that it, it just happened with God and Satan. But if, if you read down about chapter 4 in the book of Genesis, you'll see where Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. And you better read your Bible. Cain hated his brother because his brother gave better gifts to God than he did. Talk to me like Jealousy can cause you to hate somebody for no reason at all. You hating on somebody because they got a new car. You hating on somebody because they, they got a new job. Here you are hating somebody because you ain't got what they got. I tell you this morning that jealousy will cause you to find yourself hating somebody. Envy. Envy can cause one to have hate in their heart. Because you not where I am. Because somebody got a little bit better head start than you did. Here you are hating them for what they got and where they are. And truth be told, you don't know how they got what they got. You just hating on them for, for no reason at all. If you got on your knees and prayed sometimes, if you called on God with it. But sometimes folk can hate you for no reason. Yeah. Oh, talk to me somebody. Yeah. A lot of times folks ain't got no good reason to hate you. They just don't like you. You ain't did nothing. You ain't said nothing. There are those who will hate you just because. I don't like the way she wear her hair. Well, if you get it cut, you still ain't gonna like it. I don't like the way he walk. What if it lasts for cut off? Don't go to you still. Yeah. For no reason at all. And I'm gonna tell you the ones who ain't gonna say nothing, Johnny. All right. The ones who hate folk, I don't expect no old man from y'all. If you got hatred in your heart and, and you hating on the past level, I don't expect you to say nothing this morning. Yeah. Yeah. But we got folks in this life. 